Let's briefly review the mathematical notation to be used in this project for amplitude shift keying. Considering the carrier signal, we have the amplitude A sub C, the carrier frequency in hertz, and the carrier phase phi sub C. Now if we vary the amplitude in according to a binary signal, we call that amplitude shift keying. If we vary the frequency between two different frequencies, that's FSK, frequency shift keying. And if we vary the phase between two different values, we have PSK, phase shift keying. Now this word keying is actually a reference to the uh, switching action of a telegraph key. So keying is another name for switching between two different levels. Now the signaling waveform that ultimately is getting transmitted is called S of T and this is formed of our binary message B of T which multiplies the carrier signal C of T. So C of T is the same as that carrier, carrier signal that I wrote earlier and that's our binary message. For ASK, the binary message takes on uh, one of two values. Square root of E sub B indicates a binary one, and zero indicates a binary zero. E sub B is the bit energy, or energy per bit. The carrier has a special amplitude here, square root of two over T sub B and that gives a unit energy over a single bit interval. That way the binary message can control how much energy is getting transmitted. Now it might be helpful to take a look at all of that for a moment. If we put those two together we see that the amplitude is the expression shown. Power in general would be the amplitude squared over 2 energy would be the power times time, time of one bit interval. Yeah, I'm making some substitutions here. Time would correspond to a single bit interval. Taking care of some cancellation we find that indeed the energy works out to be simply E sub B, the energy per bit. So all of those uh, initially look somewhat odd, but they, they all work out to give us something that makes sense. Well, let's take a look at what an ASK signal uh, waveform appears as. So I'm considering the, the binary message, the carrier in the middle, and the uh, ASK modulated signal on the bottom. Here we see that the message was zero, so we get zero. If it's one, then we allow the carrier to get through. I can try adding a few more bits to the binary pattern here. So generally speaking, you just look at the, the baseband signal on top, multiply that by the carrier. Any place where the baseband signal is non-zero means that the carrier gets through. You can also consider what happens if the carrier is at, at different frequency levels. Normally the, the carrier frequency will be substantially higher than the baseband frequency or, or your bit rate.